At first glance, movement in AOV can seem, well, unclear. I mean, you got slows, speed boosts, flat modifiers, percentage modifiers. How is movement speed even calculated? Do modifiers stack? Do multiple slows just take the highest one? What happens if you get slowed and get a speed boost? Am I wearing any clothes right now? We'll answer all of this and more in this episode of How It's Made. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Wow. Lucky bread. Today on how it's made. Warning: This video is made with whole grains, which means it doesn't taste as good, but is better for you. Viewer's discretion is advised. Okay, first of all, how is movement calculated? I ran some tests with Superman to find out. In AOV, movement is calculated by multiplying base movement by multipliers. Only a few sources can increase base movement. These are Boots, Hermes, Sentinel Buff, Clay's Sancti, and the River Enchantment. Let's look at an example. Superman has 380 base movement speed. He also has Boots, so that's if I just take the derivative and take the integral between 0 and infinity to find the area under the curve, then take my cat's temperature and multiply that by the circumference of the sun, and take the sun's gravitational acceleration to account, carry the two, oh, I got it! Eureka! 440. You, you just add them together. Superman also has Gaia, which adds an extra 5% movement. So in total, Superman has 440 times 1.05, which is 462. But notice how the 5% includes boots. The formula is this, not this. This means that while boots give a flat plus 60 movement speed, they also scale with your modifiers, whether it's a slow or a speed boost. This means that boosts actually increased Superman's movement speed by 63 instead of 60. A whopping difference of 3. Take note of this, we'll come back to it later. Okay, so far so good, but what about slows? I did a couple tests versus Chognar's S1, which deals a 50% slow. Superman with boots taking a 50% slow is just 220, but if I give Chognar Frosty's Revenge, which deals a 20% slow, Superman's movement speed goes down to 132. With some rearranging, we can see that a 50% slow and a 20% slow combined is just a 70% slow. And now we have our movement speed formula. Movement speed equals base movement speed times 1 plus speed boost minus slows. However, the same concept applies to speed boosts. Remember that whopping profit of 3? Well, if we give Linda's boots, Sentinel buff, and Clay's Sancti, her base movement speed goes up to 495. From her perk, she gains a 40% movement from bushes, plus 10% from Omni Arms, plus 10% from Arcana. Plugging in those numbers, we get 495 times 1.6 is equal to 792. For reference, the maximum movement speed is 800. This is one reason why Caffeine is so broken, I mean, besides her armor shred, crit damage, and attack speed conversions, and her ability to basically melt any hero like that chocolate bar in the back of my pocket, ugh, yuck, Caffeine bypasses a core mechanic that all other heroes have to go through. She doesn't have to stop to attack. Attack speed items often compensate for you having to stop to attack more often by giving you movement speed in return. However, not only does Caffeine convert attack speed to attack damage extremely efficiently, by the way, the conversion is just two times her attack speed, but she doesn't have to stop to attack, meaning the extra movement from attack speed items is not compensation anymore. It's just a buff. Movement speed on Caffeine is just way more efficient than any other hero. That's why she can weave in and out of fights by literally just walking. Also take into account that Clay's Sancti adds to her base movement, meaning that all the bonus movement she gets from her attack speed items also scales with Clay's Sancti. Late game, Clay's Sancti is almost like another pair of boots just by doing nothing but auto attacking. Oh my god, how is he doing that? Look at that skill! Look at how he's using the joystick and tapping the attack button at the same time! We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. So AOV just released a new update that changed movement speed calculation after I already recorded everything. This has literally never happened before! Okay, so according to the patch notes, if movement speed is less than 240, your movement speed will actually be 120 plus info page speed times 0.5. If movement speed is above 660, your movement speed will actually be 330 plus info page speed times 0.5, where info page speed is a result of our old formula. 
Basically, this change normalizes the extremities of movement. Slows are less effective when your movement speed is less than 240. Likewise, speed boosts are less effective when your movement speed is more than 660. If you're super slow, now you're a little bit faster. But if you're super fast, now you're a little bit slower. Essentially, this sets the maximum movement speed to 730 and the minimum movement speed to 120. This change nerfs heroes who are capable of going above 660 movement speed, such as Lindus and Superman. However, since these changes are completely invisible because they no longer give feedback in the attributes page, it has made calculating movement speed a pain. Yeah, so, Flash's perk says that whenever he moves universe. 40 units, his next basic attack will be enhanced, Where which gets an indicator. Using large. this, we can measure movement speed. So I ran some tests to see how long it would take Flash to move 40 units with 400, 601, and 800 movement speed, respectively. Can't Each test late. was repeated at least 5 times so I can take the average for accuracy. Here are the results. At 400 movement speed, we get 10.12 seconds. At 601 movement speed, it took 7.78 seconds. And at 800 movement speed, it took 5.67 seconds. Using just this, we can see that there is definitely some manipulation here. If 400 movement speed is 10.12 seconds, then we should expect 800 movement speed to be twice as fast, or 5.06 seconds. Instead, we get 5.67 seconds. This looks like the new mechanic kicking in. Additionally, before the patch, if you got slowed to zero movement speed, you would stutter in place and literally not move. Now if you get slowed to zero movement speed, you're still able to at least crawl around. So, what did we learn in boating school? Well, the formula to calculate movement speed is base movement times 1 plus speed boost minus slows. If movement speed is less than 240, then movement speed equals 120 plus movement speed divided by 2. If movement speed is more than 660, then movement speed equals 330 plus movement speed divided by 2. Slows and speed boosts from different sources stack. This means that Frosty's Revenge on Chungner is actually really good. This also means that Clay's Sanctity plus Slicks plus Devil's Handshake on Caffney is also really good. Caffney is broken! Slows and speed boosts from the same source do not stack. They only refresh the timer on their buff or debuff. Spirit Sentinel is best on heroes with speed boosts. Am I wearing any clothes? You'll just have to find on the next video. That's all for me. Hopefully learned something new. And I'll see you guys next time. Okay, thanks. Bye.